Troublesomes, it's Miracle, and welcome back to my Dove Miracle. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. And honey, I actually received my ColourPop slash Sailor Moon collaboration, and I'm gonna do a look with it because apparently people aren't really that into swatching anymore. So we're gonna test out the products, see how we like them, and when they restock, you can choose whether or not you decide that you are going to purchase these items. Let me know how you feel at the end of this video. And if you haven't already, my troublesomes, please like, comment, share, or subscribe, hit this bell notification to receive updates any other time that I upload. And let's give you some information. So I've already prepped my skin with moisturizer. I actually use coconut oil because it's the only thing that doesn't irritate my skin. And I've already put on this collagen uh, sleep mask. One, because it smells nice. Two, <laughs> it leaves my skin feeling nice and dewy and slightly tacky so that my foundation and other products could adhere to it since I do have an oil-based something underneath. I'm sure you guys already know what comes inside, but I'll just go through the motions. Um, it comes with two blush shades. I actually wish one of them featured Artemis on the front so that you're able to tell which shade is which, but we have Cat's Eye and we have From the Moon. Additionally, it comes with two lip sets. Now it also comes with two glitter shades. These glitter shades are actually not eye safe. If you are wondering, you can still use them at your own discretion. However, it does recommend against it. We have Moonlight Legend here and we have Moon Prism Power, which is a very iconic shade name. And again, I'm just showing you the packaging for right now. We will get into what these things look like once we're ready to use them. Finally, we have the very iconic palette this is the contact card on the outside and let's get into the look first and foremost I'm going to start off with my NARS liquid Longwear foundation in the shade Tahoe this is actually my summer shade because it is my summer shade I'll actually put a little bit of it on and then I will use my concealer like crazy to brighten it up that way I'm not out here looking like a oompa loompa one of the biggest issues I have with ColourPop is that they do not include mirrors um, so that's why I am using a mirror from another palette. So don't think I'm using this palette out here, guys. Since my dark spots are visible, I'm going to use some concealer. I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer to blot out any sort of blemishes and imperfections that I see. And I'm going to try to fade them away, okay? Honestly, one of my fondest memories of childhood is actually watching Sailor Moon. Um, my favorite character in particular was actually Rini, or she's known as Chibiusa. So I'm actually going to pay tribute to her today and do a makeup look inspired by my favorite character. Um, I hope that in the future ColourPop actually does a thing where they pay homage to all of the Sailor Scouts <laughs> so that everybody can live in their best moment. Then I'm going to take one more pump of foundation and then just blur over one more time. And I'm just going to take the time to brighten up underneath my eyes because it's looking a little bit orangey, guys, and we can't be out here looking crazy, okay? Okay, so we're looking a little bit even if I do say so myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour and then we'll get into what you actually came here for. If you guys were interested in what I used to contour, it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soy something something. Anyway, yeah, just keep doing this all. The rest of the video is just doing this. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's a really cute little thing here. And then, dun -da -da -da. ooh, a buddy. This is my first time opening it, guys. And as you can see, the palette didn't really survive um, transit. So that's kind of annoying. But you know what? I'm not gonna send it back. But uh, my palette definitely looks like it has seen better days. <sighs> oh my freaking, all I did was try to blow off the freaking um 
uh, shirt. All of it is here. Oh, this is my life, my life, my life. A couple moments to get my bearings. All right, you know what? Instead of looking at the eyes right now, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and um, <laughs> we'll get started on my eyebrows first. You know, guys, I'm not gonna get too mad about it because, you know, things happen. Um, things happen. I'm not gonna say that it's like crappy packaging because, you know what, ColourPop actually comes with tons and tons of bubble wrap, so I'm actually surprised that happened. But as far as I'm concerned with my eyebrows, though, I'm gonna use this shade here. This is in the shade Love. Oops. This is in the shade Love. And I'm gonna use that to outline my eyebrows. So I know it looks a little bit crazy with this pink here, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come in with this ColourPop eyeshadow. Um, this is the nude one. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to come in in this mocha shade right here. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in the shade Love, and I'm going to mix that with Miracle Romance. <laughs> it's a me. I won't lie to you guys, um, the fact that these colors fell out of the pan, this one right here, it actually <laughs> broke my heart. So my energy level is just like gone now, but that's okay. I'm going to try my best to keep going for you guys because I don't, you know, I just, oh, I just, uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, we have a pastel moment going on right there. Next, I'm gonna come in with Love again and mix that with Tuxedo Rose. Again, these pigments are very soft, so you have to be careful or else you'll experience uh, quite a bit of fallout inside the pan. I don't know if you can see that okay. Just so this blends a little bit better, I'm coming in with Twilight Flash, I believe that says, because I can't read without my glasses, and then just blend on the top portion of the eye with the same brush. Then I'm going to use the color Shining Moon to be able to bring this up into the brow bone and then further fade out this pink here. Okay, next, using the same brush again, I'm going to dip into Tuxedo Rose, an ample amount of it, and then bring that underneath my eye here. I almost want it to look kind of sickly. And to blend out my eyes further, I'm using the shade Moon Castle, and then I'm just gonna blend out this area over here. So I want some deep tones in here, so I'm gonna take this shade Luna, in the same brush <laughs> and then put that on the outer corner of my eye. So I will say that I like this palette quite a bit, but the only issue that I'm having is that I wish that there were some more dark tones in here because it's a little bit difficult to have to do like transition, but I guess because it's marketed as a pastel, I understand, but one, just one dark matte tone uh, specifically would be greatly appreciated. Just so I'm consistent, I'm using ColourPop again. And the shade that I'll be using right now is this, uh, what is it called? The Coco. I believe that's what it says. And that is very on brand for me. And then put this under the bag portion of my eyes. You want to make this strip very, very, very thin because otherwise you'll look like you got a black eye. And I don't think anybody wants that out here. And this is why you want to do it thin, otherwise you look like you have a black eye. So I'm going to try <laughs> to fix that so we're not out here looking crazy. Now I'm going to use the shade Justice. I'm going to actually use my pinky finger and try to get it over here. Let's just see. Actually, uh, clearly I use my middle finger instead of my pinky finger, so I guess I'm not using that. And this is done without primer. There's foundation on my eyelids, but we'll see how bright it turns out to be. Ooh! Okay, yellow. Layer this, guys. That's popping. Oh, okay, yellow. So now I'm actually going to take the shade Silver Crystal, mix that in with Silver Millennium, uh, and yeah, we'll just put that on the inner corner of the eyeball. I'm 
now I'm coming in with the Jeffree Star Blue Blooded Palette. I actually need the shade Drug Lord for this. Ooh, -wee. ooh. -wee. If you guys didn't know, all his liquid velour lipsticks are eye safe, so that's just good for your own P's and Q's to be knowing, okay? Use that to outline underneath my, uh, what is this, lash line, and a little bit over the lash line because I'm going to recreate my eye shape. Is this in focus? Don't be like me and stab yourself in the eyeball because it really hurts. It absolutely hurts. And I'm going to use the shade Luna again and then put that even thicker on the outer portion of my eye here. I'm going to use the shade Mirror Serenities. It's like this, uh, like a burgundy brown gold shimmer tone. And I'm going to make sure to layer that over here by the brow bone area and just pull it in. Okay, so this is the glitter. This is Moonlight Legend and okay, oh, there's a tab. Of course there's a tab, okay. These are supposed to be body glitters, but I am gonna use these. This one smells a little bit more chemically. This one has like stars and, and moons in it. It's like huge chunky glitter. So um, I'm gonna use a little bit of both and get them all over my hands because we love that for me. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Ah! Oh, we love risking our eyeballs on this channel. Ah! Okay, after cleaning off this brush, I'm actually going to be using the other glitter colors and putting that on the back end of my eyes, okay? Glitter is thick, fam. It is really thick. Oh, this is so pretty. You know what be popping right in the middle, fam? <laughs> I'm coming for you. That extreme frost right in the center, fam. That would be popping. Watch, watch. Oh my God. Yes, look at this. Yes. Yes. This is the extreme frost in the shade uh, choking on ice and right in between these two glitters. Oh my God, I feel like I'm living a whole fantasy. Can you even see this on camera? I hope you can, because I am so pleased with that. Okay, so we have both of the blushes and like, look how cute the packaging is. This means like five stars just because of the packaging alone. Uh, but this here is like this nice pinky pink and then this one over here, I believe it's like a coral pink. And then they are doing the best work ever because there's actually mirrors in this, which is surprising because their eyeshadow palette does not have mirrors. But yeah, I think we're gonna use both of them and we'll see how that works out. I'm being very, very light with this because I don't know how heavy this is gonna come onto my skin. Yeah, it's pretty pigmented. So just be really light um, and then you can build on it if that's your thing. Um, but I'm going to bring this up into my hairline because natural blush kind of does that. At least it does on my skin. <laughs> so I'm going to add some youth back in here and then put that on the apple portions of my cheeks mostly and then pull it up. Okay, so we have the two lip color combinations. Um, what do we have in here? We have these two shades right here. This is the set called, this is the set from Moonlight here. Um, I kind of think I'm going to use that one, but let's just see what uh, daylight looks like. Actually, I think I'm going to use daylight. I need a mirror. My lips are dry. Oh, it's like... It's matte already. I don't know if I like this lip with this one, um, but it's okay. This is YSL um, in the shade. I don't know what shade this is. It's just red, okay? So I have YSL and whatever shade of red this is. Um, and I'm going to just put that right 
smack dab in the center of the lip like so all right yeah that's what i want and now i'm gonna go over it with the gloss i'm gonna put the gloss on another finger because i don't want it to mess up and mess up the pigment inside of the bottle i don't like this little applicator it's like this uh um paint brushy sort of thing i don't know how i feel about these two colors going together so i'm actually going to try the other gloss and see if that works better with this color So this is the part of the video where I screw everything up because I'm going to add an eyeliner. I suck at doing eyeliner. I believe this is... I believe this is Kat Von D. I don't really know. I'm going to actually slightly downturn uh, the lash line so it makes my eyes appear a little bit wider. Surprisingly, I didn't screw up too badly. Um, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to apply some lashes and then I'm going to do everything else off camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, my troublesomes, and this is the final look. So let me know how I did in the comment section down below. Um, my overall thoughts for this palette, I actually like it a lot. I'm going to reach out to customer service to see if they can replace the palette because again, one of the shades just fell right out of the pan as soon as I opened it. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Do I think you need this in your collection right away? If you are a huge Sailor Moon fan, absolutely. Um, again, this is like my childhood. So um, let me know if I did chibiusa some justice like rini was my girl hunty hunty let me tell you <laughs> i feel like i got to live out my whole childhood and yes babes i am going to take pictures galore because i am so excited with how this turned out and if you guys have received the palette let me know if you are thinking about getting the palette also let me know and yeah oh my god i love it so much